Hello and welcome to Zabbix Handy Tips. In this video, we'll take a look at the Zabbix Server HA cluster functionality added in Zabbix 6.0 LTS and create our own Zabbix Server cluster. To deploy a Zabbix Server cluster, we will first need to have two or more nodes with Zabbix Server installed on them. The cluster that we will be deploying in this example will contain two Zabbix Server nodes. On our first node, let's open the Zabbix Server configuration file. By default, it is located in etc slash Zabbix. Let's define an arbitrary node name in the HA node name parameter. Defining a node name is mandatory, and with the node name in place, Zabbix server will now start in the HA cluster mode. Let's also define the node address. The node address will be used by the frontend to connect to the currently active node. Let's save the changes and restart the Zabbix server process. We can check the Zabbix server log file to confirm that Zabbix server is running without any issues. Now let's switch over to our freshly installed second node and once again define the HA node name and node the address. Once the changes have been saved, let's enable and start the Zabbix server. When we check the log file, we should see that this node is currently running in a standby mode and there are no error messages. Next, let's make sure that Zabbix frontend is properly configured to support the Zabbix server HA cluster. On our Zabbix frontend node, let's open the Zabbix frontend configuration file. By default, it is located in etc slash Zabbix slash web. Let's look for two parameters, ZBX server and ZBX server port. We should comment out these parameters, so instead of using a static Zabbix server address and port, the Zabbix frontend will get the address of the currently active node from the Zabbix database. Once we have commented out the parameters, let's save the changes. We can confirm the node status by using the Zabbix runtime commands. Let's switch over to the currently active node and execute the Zabbix server -r ha status command to confirm the HA cluster status. We can also check the cluster status by opening our Zabbix frontend and navigating to reports, system information. This can also be done by deploying the system information widget on your dashboards. As you can see, deploying a Zabbix server HA cluster is a simple task that only takes a few minutes and can be done with as many nodes as you require.